So we are in the last day of the uh, July-August season of excavation at El Araj Besaida. And just a few updates on what we achieved this uh, season. We pretty much got most of our goals. And we would like to get more, of course. But the thing is, you usually uh, end up with more questions. What you see behind me here is area D. And all those houses, as you might know from earlier, vid earlier videos, is Roman layers. What's very nice about it is that this is uh, early 3rd century houses with a very rich destruction area. Lots and lots and lots of finds, lovely finds from bronze and, uh, and iron, glass and stone vessels, Jewish stone vessels of the village uh, of the... Uh, um, Besaida and the later city of Julias and you can see the walls are going way down there the same walls continuing to be used for centuries on centuries and the floors are rising as, uh, as they go so this is area D to begin with back in the main uh, area A and here this is you see this is Hong Kong this is Hong Kong area. The guys from Hong Kong be digging all this for the last two weeks. We have here, uh, we say the ch drainage channel, this, and this is a Byzantine church. And they went all the way down deep to the Roman layer. Uh, Stephen, can you say that to, to the camera also? They looked how far they've gone down. They went down to find the Roman bath. We knew it was here, uh, but they were the ones who dug down, and made the effort to find it. So, congratulations! Show us, show us the mosaic, the piece of the Roman mosaic. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Moving into the main area of the Byzantine church here, and uh, what's uh, very interesting, you know, in the archaeology you have all these surprises, you expect one thing, you think after seven years of excavations, you'd be more or less knowledgeable what's, what you have as for in like the periods of habitation and this is a church the byzantine church fifth sixth century and beneath it or by the sides of it actually there's another wall which is early byzantine apparently maybe fourth century i'm saying very cautiously but it's not in the same angle as a church and the pottery that comes by it is different and we as this wall is so deep we're trying to expose as uh, much as we can all, all on to the east here and to the west here and try to follow it and maybe it is an earlier Byzantine habitation church you see again how deep we went here. Ethan, yeah. say hello to the camera. Oh, hey. Greetings <laughs> up there. <laughs> Way up there. <laughs> so this is down there is a Roman layer. <laughs> Ethan is Roman at the moment. <laughs> when he climbs up, he's Byzantine, and he climbs up, he'll be more than. That's, uh, that's evolution. <laughs> and if we go under the apse of the church, the center of the church we also have his moti you should say it more enthusiastically Pokatov. <laughs> say you're watching this in it's the morning it's a nice cool morning here at the Tsaida Valley paradise Welcome people might paradise. think you that you that you're not cynical about the cool um so you see the mosaic of the church of the apps and beneath it there's another wall See this one, which also could be an early church. This is just an hypothesis, a working hypothesis. We have to prove that this is few week, few other weeks to excavate this and maybe get answers and then get other questions. So this is to conclude the uh, 
summer 2023 season. Here's Steven, here's Moti, and here's El Araj beside her.